Happy morning, my dear students. How are you all? All set for your new grammar lesson? Yes. Let's see what's the topic for today's English grammar. Yes. What do you see here? Yes. Let's read these words. I don't. No trespassing. Do not disturb. Do not enter. Don't panic. No drones. What are all these? These are negative words. Do, do not, don't, do not, no, do not. These are negative words. And when these negative words are put into sentences, it becomes negative sentence. Okay, students? So today we are going to learn about negative sentences. So how do you frame negative sentence? I have already given you the clue. All you have to do is use negative words like do not, don't, no in your sentences. So let's read the following sentences. Sita is very happy. Gita is ill. I have some food for the journey. Is there any negative words in these sentences? No. So, we call these sentences as positive sentence because there is no negative words. Now, how to make this positive sentence into negative sentence? Simply put the negative word no and not. Okay? So, now read the following sentences. Sita is not very happy. Gita is not ill. I have no food for the journey. So, we put the negative words and it becomes negative sentence. Why? Why it's a negative sentence? Because they have the words not and no. So, remember this. Okay, so children, now we are going to pay attention to the position of not. Okay, to make negative sentence, where should we position this word no and not? In a sentence, when the verb consists of single word, if the verb is single, let me show you the example. She is sad. Here the verb is is. How is she? She is. She is in which state? She is, is sad. So the verb word is is and that's a single word. And whenever in a sentence consists of a single verb word, all you have to do is after the verb, after the verb, you will add the word n o t not or n o no. Isn't that very easy? So let's make this into negative sentence. She is sad. So how will you do it? She is not sad. Got it? Next. She has money. Has is the verb. And what, will you, what you have to do is after the verb has, you will position the word either not or no. So here it should be no. She has no money and this becomes negative sentence. But what if the verb is two words like for example, she is singing. There are two verbs, yes, being verb and an action verb, two verbs are there. So where will you place it? No issues, immediately after the first verb. She is not singing. The procedure is simple like the same. If there are two verbs also, you have to put it after the first verb. And what about these sentences? Come inside. Clap your hands. These are order sentences. These are command sentences. What is the other name for command sentence? 
इम्परेटिव सेंटेंसेस ऑर्डर दिया जाता है कम इन साइड सिट डाउन गो दे दीज आर इम्परेटिव ऑर्डर सेंटेंसेस हाउ विल यू मेक इट नेगेटिव simple procedure to make an imperative sentence negative we have to put do not or the short form of do not is don't in the beginning of the sentence so let's make this positive sentence into negative come inside so let's put the word don't come inside so it becomes negative okay clap your hands so what should you write don't clap your hands so only and only for imperative order wale sentences ko what you have to do is put the negative word right in the beginning of the sentence starting mein dalna hai and for all other sentence verb ke baad dalna hai clear students so let's revise what we have learnt negative sentences have no or not in them to make negative sentence we write not after the verb if the verb is single not after the first word when the verb has more than one word that is is singing two verbs are there but still after the first word and don't this you have to be careful don't before the sentence if the sentence is a imperative order sentence so i'm sure you are thorough with it but children here's a tricky question i'm giving you a situation and tell me what you feel about it negative sentences have no or not in them teacher taught you negative sentences Let's hear the situation. One day you are in a hurry to go to play, okay? And your grandfather asks you to give him a glass of water. What will you do? Will you use a negative sentence here? Teacher has taught you negative sentence, but will you use it? Will you say no, grandpa? I'm going out to play. I can't get you a glass of water. Will you use a negative sentence here? No. You should not. You will say no to him. Why and why not? You will never use a negative sentence not only to your elders but also to your friends. Yes children, because it hurts them. So what you have to do is use negative sentences very thoughtfully. In case of your grandpa spare him that 2 second and tell surely grandpa i am definitely going to get you a glass of water so remember this use positive words okay so now a little exercise for you this is a worksheet that you are going to receive and all that you do have to do is change the given sentence into negative sentence so after the verb you will put no or not the jungle was very dense what is the verb here was so what will be your answer the jungle was not very dense okay the remaining i'll just read you will do it for yourself she has gone to the market jyoti is happy with her new friend he has kept his promise so look for the verb has and after the verb put the negative word no or not play in the garden here you have to think play in the garden this is an order this is a command play in the garden so to make it negative you will put don't play in the garden okay or to put negative words in the beginning of the sentence for order sentence i am satisfied with your work here there are two verbs am and satisfied so you will use not after the first verb i am not satisfied with your work next read slowly come on this is order sentence imperative sentence so put don't right in the beginning of the sentence don't read slowly okay geeta is talking in class that's a simple one for you 
open the door order sentence this time i'm not going to give you the answer i am hungry so children thoughtfully do the exercise in good neat handwriting happy learning god bless you all